Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the use case of sending emails whenever a person or an employee is being added to the Azure Active Directory. So we want to actually fetch the newly created user and send out the welcome email whenever a new person is being onboarded in M365. So we are going to take the help of Power Automate to do that and I'll just create one simple Power Automate. I'll just start from creating one instant cloud flow and I wish to just trigger that as manually so I'll just say that as manual trigger but of course we have to make this uh, workflow to run every day so that it sends out the email to the newly added users so I'll just say uh, welcome email to new users and for this uh, to get the newly added user so right now we don't have any direct trigger to work that out so what we are going to do we are going to take help of Microsoft graph to fetch the users and then filter those users based on the created date so I'll just go to the next step and I'll type in as graph and we are going to select office 65 groups and over here if I scroll down I would not find any event related to users and if I still search then I would not find any action so we have what we are going to do we are going to just simply use this send HTTP request and we are going to form the URI by our own for the users so over here in example you can see HTTP as graph microsoft.com and slash the actual endpoint to fetch the users so I have written the endpoint over here for our direct reference it's uh, v.0 then users and then select the properties whatever properties we wish to fetch display name mail and created date so created date is crucial because we want to send a uh, welcome email to the only newly added person so we are going to filter based on this date so right now i have put up this filter condition as created date time is greater than this date so specifically so that i can actually get a bunch of newly added users because uh, in my environment probably like uh, recently I have not added any users so, so that at least we can get some users out of it but in actual scenario we are going to actually map this to the uh, current date and minus one probably because so that we can fetch the users which are added in past one day so I can just copy this and we can actually do a test run on this query first of all and then later on we'll just uh, add the dates to it so let's save it and try to do a test run so that we can see what uh, attributes we are getting out of it so i'm going to run this manually for now so flow ran successfully let's see the result so into results i have this set of users where you can see i have display name mail and created date because i selected these on the properties and into this created date I have the date when this user was created so based on it I have filtered and now when you actually work in your uh, live environment you have to replace this query with dynamic data and dynamic you have to click on this add dynamic value and go to expression and over here I'll use the UTC now and as I said like uh, this would give me this function would give me the current date but I wish to have the date prior to this one just one day before so that I can send the I mean fetch the users that was created last day so I'll just say the other function as add days to my this time UTC now minus one so that I can get the date previous to my current date so one day before my current date so I'll save it and I'll just run run this again so that we can see like what data I'm getting so I'm expecting just blank values because I don't have any newly created user so I'll just say test and later on like uh, we will rechange it to a specific date so that some set of users we can fetch and then pass those users to send out the email so it ran successfully the formula was correct and I got a value as blank now again we are going to modify it I'll just put the hard-coded date for time being for the demo purpose and again copy this put this over here and in the next step I'll save it 
and in the next step i am going to get the data out of it so in the body i would be getting the entire json and we are going to parse this json so before that we have to go to the last run and then fetch the sample data so that we can actually create the parse uh, parse json body i'll just go to the last run and not this one uh, i need to go to the run where we have the actual data based on that attributes can be passed and you can simply copy entire stuff which is there in body and add it the flow and then we are going to add the parse json action so that we can fetch the attribute out of it parse json data operation and we are going to work on this one from the previous step body and generate from sample sample we just copied i'll just say done so it will give me the attributes out of it and in the next step we are going to simply use the send email if you wish to send the email from your shared mailbox then you can use this option of send email from shared mailbox and for testing if you just want to do that from yours one then you can just click on the send email uh, not with options i need to delete it just normal send email and in two i will pick that from the dynamic body again and this would be the parse json output and in output we have this multiple attributes mail display name so i'll just choose mail and it binded that into apply to each so that it can send out the email to each and every newly added user and subject you can put welcome and in body as well you can put any html dynamic body i'm just saying say dear and you can have that display name and that's it save it we are ready with our flow and we'll just run it right now it's just a manual trigger but you can have a, a scheduled timing over it every day recurrence you can set that up and i can just do a manual run so our flow is running and it's doing that sending email operation and it ran successfully so we are done we are done we were able to fetch the newly added users which added prior to the day to the current date and sending the email one by one to everyone so that is the objective so it's just not about the use case of sending welcome email it could be like if you wish to fetch the newly added users onboarded users and you wish to do some other operations apply some policies to those users then you can very well do that so that is the intent for today's video i hope like uh, it, you may find it helpful and that's it for today thank you and if you have any questions then do drop your comments thank you bye